In the centre of the North Island lies a classic Kiwi road trip destination, home to New Zealand's largest lake, oldest national park and the longest river. We've just spent five days exploring Taupo and Tongariro National Park ticking off as many must-see, must-eat and must-dos as we can. In this four-part series, we found a hilariously unique way to get out on the lake. Hold on, hold on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do a donut first. Hiked one of the world's best day walks in the national park. Welcome to the South Crater. Went full tourism mode on the river. <laughs> Stayed in the iconic Chateau Tongariro. And of course, hunted out the best food in Taupo. This third episode is all about checking out a bunch of local recommendations for the best day of eating as we make our way into Taupo. The local recommendations are always the bangers. Love, love, love. Obviously, we've got the basics covered. Cheers, wifey. <laughs> with bonus points for the beautiful setting. There's famous pastries in a quirky spot. Oh, that gooeyness. A deep journey into free samples and liqueur at an icon of Taupo. So we could say, everybody knows what honey tastes like, and I would say, you're wrong. And a comedy of errors at the go-to smokehouse. We've messed up. What do you reckon? This is cool. We're kicking things off with a, a trip to a place called Creel Tackle House Cafe. It was a local suggestion, and apparently, they do the best brioche. So there's a sweet one and a savory one. I'm thinking that we should get one of each if they have them. They're baked fresh daily. I love that it's just it's it's the Creel Tackle House with the cafe next to it. But what's uh, even better? Is this? Stacey's got a bit of a limp today. How are you feeling, babe? It's not too bad. I did hurt it on the um, on the crossing, but it's a, it's better than yesterday afternoon. So we're on the mend. Nothing a brioche can't fix. Exactly. If you haven't seen that video yet from the Tongariro crossing, watch it, man. That was the, honestly the coolest hike that we have ever done. Oh, thank you. The savoury one has pesto, sun-dried tomato, feta, cheddar and spinach. Oh, look at that brioche outer. Delicious. I'm leaning towards this one though because as soon as I opened it, it pulled, pulled, that, apart, pulled that apart real quick. Oh, that gooeyness. Okay, so this one has raisin, walnut and cinnamon. And we got a couple of flat whites as well because obviously. <laughs> Feta and the sun dried tomato. Great stuff. It's a secret, Heather. I'm sure it is. Five out of five brioche. Oh, that sweet one. The local recommendations are always the bangers. Love, love, love. Um, speaking of, We've been to Topo a few times. We haven't filmed a hell of a lot, but we always see these honey signs and we mm -hmm. have never checked them out. We need to. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be going to the Hooker Honey Hive. Don't know whether we're gonna get the chance to get like full beekeeper vibes going on, but oh, cool. if we get to eat some honey, yep. I'm gonna be happy. <laughs> yeah, that's the cutest bee I ever did see. <laughs> so apparently there's tasting, there's liqueurs, there's like live bees just everywhere. <laughs> Look at me, I'm not a live bee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were just in there. Hmm. Hmm. Protection required. It's a wrap. Oh, look at it. 
you know. He's sleeping out there. <laughs> oh, it's a shame we can't do it. We're here at the wrong time. Although when you watch this, you might be able to, because it's all seasonal. Oh, even the tank is bee colored. <laughs> So there's a tour that comes out here and you get to go out there with the bees, go out to the honey shack, go through the whole process and actually put on the full beekeeping outfit, which is what we really, really wanted to do. But yeah, check the timings because it might be available now. Looking bee suits I've seen. Yeah. Wow. At least there's still some bees to see though. Yeah. This place is huge. There's 60 or 70 different types of honey in here. That's a huge amount. We're going to go and try some of those. Uh -huh. Honey is a very sort of personal thing. Yeah. If you like a dark honey, you like a light honey, um, okay. creamed honey, a runny honey. Wow. Well, sort of, yeah. I suppose if you've got 60 to 70 honey, <laughs> you should have expected that that would be the case. Honestly, I don't know what my favourite honey would be. What? Can you take us on a little journey? Yes, certainly. Yeah. So this, no, I'll start you with this. So we could say, everybody knows what honey tastes like. We don't necessarily need to go through it. And I would say, you're wrong, because we've just tried about 10, maybe? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> you stick together. <laughs> but it's a lovely honey, mm. it's light. It's probably got blackberry, gorse, broom, a bit of native, a bit of flowers from yeah. here, a bit of meadow, yeah. a bit of wildflower. And the difference between the manuka, there's one that's from Hurukawa, there's all these other things that I, I, I can't remember, but I know that I tasted them, and it's almost like wine tasting. They're different flavors, and not all of them are sweet as well. This one we just tried was the five, five finger, something to do with the flower it comes from, it has five fingers, and it kind of tastes like it's going to be sweet, and then it's almost smokiness on the end. Very cool. Didn't expect that we'd be doing something like this, but I like tasting new things. It's been a fun experience in here. Before we crack into the good stuff, a quick thanks to our friends over at Squarespace for sponsoring the past few videos and helping make this trip happen. We run our studio and video licensing business on Squarespace and they reached out with an offer for you to do the same. If you're looking to create a website, start selling online or finally build your blog, there's no better time than now. We love the simplicity of getting set up, the ease of running our site month to month and how beautiful the templates are, and you will too. To get started, head to squarespace.com slash DNS for a free trial and 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So this is essentially wine without the grapes. It's honey that's fermented with yeast and water. It smells a little bit like, it smells a little bit like wine. It's quite sweet. You get a real hit with honey in the back of your throat. Yep. That gets you. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. It's really nice. Lovely with cheese and crackers. Oh, yes. Mm. Oh, that ginger kicks. Doesn't it? <laughs> oh, in a good way, though. This yeah. is kind of subtle. It is. Yes. <laughs> I love that you can try everything in here from the honeys to actual beauty products. So I just tried a intense hand and nail cream. It smells so good. Mm -hmm. Yum! So it might not come across on camera, but you might be wondering, why are we wet? I like this new design on your jumper. I wish I could see it. What's going on? What does it look it's like? It's the shape of a life jacket. <laughs> Am I wet just from the corners like this? Yeah. It's my vest. And that's where we have to find out the next video. But we're just... <laughs> but before we um, before we go out for lunch and everything, we've got to check into our new accommodation. So we're staying at the Hilton, which your sister was it? Yeah, my sister stayed here. Um, beautiful, beautiful spot. Excited to check it out. Yeah, it's right next to Debrett's, the hot springs and stuff, which I've been to in the past. I've been there when it was actually snowing. So that much snow that you can see on Ruapehu at the moment, not a huge amount really, considering that it can snow at this level at yeah, times. Yeah, true. And that, honestly, that it was magical. such a cool experience. Oh, I'd love that. And, that, and the, there's just so much steam, you could barely see somebody from this from this far away. Uh -huh. Anyway, let's go and see what this room's all about. That whole area behind you there is the gym and the pool. Wow, that looks like an awesome gym. Does it? I can't see over the head. Oh, it's too small. You <laughs> can see through it a little bit. It's nice. Although, after walking the crossing yesterday, I think the last thing we need is a gym. Yeah, true. They, Stu was saying that he thinks that um, you burn about 3,000 to 3,500 calories 
on that hike that we did. No wonder we were so hungry. We were starving last night. I'm just gonna have a quick peek over this hedge here. Oh, check that out. Oh, the spa. So 30, the pool's heated. 30 degrees is the pool and then 38 is the spa pool. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that's calling my name. That's what we're talking about. Although it's actually supposed to be raining the next couple of days, so I think that's going to make more sense then than right now, which is still so beautiful. True. I think we're staying at one of these up here. Mm. Oh, very cool. Must be a, that's a close thing, is it? Welcome to oh, my junior suite. That's massive. <laughs> it's like a whole house. View, straight for the view. Mutants. What else have we got? Whole lounge. Yeah, this, this is so good. Dining, kitchenette. Huge bedroom. Oh, and another TV in the bedroom. <laughs> yeah, I love that. It's the simple things in there. Oh, I think I was supposed to put this in. Oh, uh, yeah. Whoops, rookie. When, when you hit. Rookie, rookie, rookie. Well, it's gonna settle down for a little while and then it's on to, on to the next meal. You hungry yet? Yep, are you? <laughs> there was a delay. I'm always hungry. What was the delay for? <laughs> hey, that's a spot out there. Woo, it's a goodie. Yeah, they've got a little beat spot down there. Getting old when you can't get into a chair properly. <laughs> <laughs> this is brilliant. We've just seen as well. The reason that we came here, pizzas. You know that we're always about the pizza, drinks, especially when you can sit here. I keep wanting to say by, by the sea or the ocean, but it's not. Just by a giant lake, just the by size of Singapore. The largest lake in New Zealand. Oh yeah, I'm ready for this. What have we got? Smoky chick. Oh, pepperoni. pepperoni. I already know that that's what you're going to make me get. Call me basic, but you can't go wrong with a pepperoni. Except that one time we went wrong with a pepperoni, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> did someone say beer and pizza? Me. Well, I did. You said cider and pizza, right? <laughs> oh, what a vibe. So it was about $40. Oh, no, it's a bit more than that. What was that? That was $44 for two drinks and one pepperoni pizza. Un unfortunately, no half-halves, um, which I was totally down for because the spicy Mexican with tomato and cheese base, chicken, bacon, capskin, onion, jalapeno, habanero sauce and cream cheese was like But a pepperoni, tomato and cheese with pepperoni, but. When I say happy, uh, my mate always says happy wife, happy life. Yeah, I don't have a wife yet, so it don't matter. Cheers! Cheers, wifey. <laughs> This is the power meal. <laughs> it's beautiful. Mmm. Yum. That pepperoni is so good. There's like a little bit of spice, the mm. base, and then like the sauce ratio. You said the base. The base is crispy. Is that what you meant? Just mean the base. The, <laughs> the base. base. It adds to it. The base is good. Yeah, that is good pizza. Bit of parmesan on top. What's the green? Um, Basil. Oh. It's kind of like a margarita and a pepperoni. Mm. Yeah, I'm done with that. I mean, but just at the end of the day though, like 
Well, look, where we, look where we are, you know. It better because of the, the location. We're talking about food today, but I mean, just look, the places that we end up, just how special New Zealand is. We're just, we're just beyond blessed. I think we're having a real like down to earth, really. Are we? Yeah, moment. Yeah. <laughs> Feeling good. We're just so lucky and so blessed in New Zealand. You know what goes great with pizza and beer? Gelato. <laughs> Could this day get any better? So, we always get asked, how do you guys stay so fit and healthy and blah blah? We don't do this every day. It's because we burnt 3,300 <laughs> calories yesterday. We earned this. We literally find out the best things to do, the best places to eat, and we kind of go and we, we, we pack it all in together so that we can share it with you and obviously have an awesome day as well. But It's really hard work. Let's go and get some gelato, basically. <laughs> Apparently, this is the place to be. So we've been told. Right opposite the park. Lake's just there. Huge selection. <laughs> oh, overwhelmed. Mm, so many. Caramel. Sea salt caramel, without a doubt. Oh yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Right here, we're not going to go across the road. We'll just, we'll snack here. Because we can. <laughs> I just feel weird eating an ice cream on camera. Please don't touch the wood. Please don't I'm just a sucker for anything caramel. This isn't on the sweet side. This is the real sea salty, salty side. That does not taste sweet at all compared to this. Mmm. Rich. Rich and almost bitter. That's more dark dark chocolate. Do you like it? Me too. Tasty, good suggestion. That's massive. This is only $12. Look how big the portions are. Outrageous. Whew. We've now got just enough space for one more meal. It was weird to be nighttime <laughs> vlogging. We don't normally do nighttime vlogging. No, we normally give up by now, but we, we <laughs> promise food, so food we shall deliver. <laughs> we are heading to a place called Southern Meat Kitchen, SMK. They do uh, slow cooked meats. Mm, it's all low and low slow. And slow. From what I read, I think they've got an um, imported wood smoker from America, which gives you that kind of unique flavour. Mm. We, we love charcoaly food. Oh yeah, so yeah. good. Also, did something about they might have their own craft brewery. Or yeah, I'm sorry. Like, come on, meat, beer. Yeah. We're in. That's us. Thank you, That is massive. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, guys, you've got your barbecue pork pork, beef in the middle with your beef rib, and your tex mac chicken and chicken wings. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's get eating. We've messed up. <laughs> so we've got smoked beef shoulder, Tex-Mex chicken, barbecue pulled pork, <laughs> hickory smoked beef rib, hickory smoked wings, uh, SMK slaw, and flame bread. So we should start by saying that was delicious. So good. But we totally messed up. We should explain it a little bit better. So <laughs> we looked on the menu and because we've been eating all day, we just thought we'd get like the $39 cheap, you know, cheap and cheerful, just a little taste, taster of everything. The tasting platter. Emphasis on little. And then Dane saw on the counter this massive platter. And then we looked back at the menu and that's when we found out that it was $39 per person and it was enough to feed a small army. We couldn't get through it, but we did a good job considering we've been eating all day. It was delicious. I got I confused it. by the min two people, or like, yeah, minimum two people, and I thought that was just like a serving suggestion, which it is, but I missed the other fine print. Should be min eight. 